hear about the snow engine, how we acquired it, and uh, a little bit of how it runs and what it was used for. Uh, the, uh, the boys tried to turn around here as a memorial to Ed Winters who donated the snow engine to the club. The engine itself was built for the pump natural gas uh, out of the pumping station at Laurel Springs, where it originally started from. It pumped the uh, natural gas into uh, Buffalo, New York, and in the far end down there, the big end was spring loaded in the flywheel, which will trip an iron here on this uh, electrical box, which trip. It is the safety factor which we found out yesterday does work. <laughs> it's something you hear with that, which is quite what's supposed to happen anyway. The belt that runs the governor here for the engine, and the governor controls the arms for the, the mixers, for the fuel propane, to which this thing was converted over to, since we have no natural gas here. The plaque on the far end down there is a, uh, on the other side, is a plaque that's May 28, 1912, the one that was packed. The deep uh, plaque up here says, no steam pump work, pump of New York. Number two, 20 inch, and one 28 inch, which is the compressor side. The 20 inch is the board side with a 36 inch stroke. I'll try to keep on the third day ignition on with the 12 volt or 6 volt system. He's turning the pressure up a little bit here, getting some gas in the accumulator, and uh, then he's going to proceed to turning air on. Now, See what you mean. <laughs> you know, and that's just a little valve, but it would it would be exiting down the pipe and right. pumping it across the, you know, for however many miles they needed to pump it. Wow. You know? Quite a machine. So it's probably